Now, uh, just a quick little video taking a look at these uh, 5dB 2.4 gigahertz uh, antennas that I picked up recently. Omnidirectional, I mean, you've seen these on this channel before. Uh, the one of the most common antennas on the planet. But uh, I just want to show you the response over on the Spectrum Analyzer and just quickly show you the uh, design of this. Um, it's an unusual design. I mean, the measurements are spot on for 2.4 gigahertz, but the way they've constructed this on the inside is quite interesting. I've never seen uh, a design, uh, you know, somebody, a construction design um, like this before. It's uh, pretty unusual, but let's pop over to the Spectrum Analyzer first. So here it is on the uh, bench then, pretty simple test, you've seen me do this uh, plenty of times before. Let's take a look at the Spectrum Analyzer. So here we are on the Spectrum Analyzer then, and I've got the Spectrum Analyzer centred on 2.44 GHz, uh, 10 dB for, per division, and you can see lovely little frequency response right there where we need it in the middle of the Wi-Fi spectrum. Um, not a wideband, um, frequency response by no means but certainly it's working right in the area that we want it to so here is the inside of the antenna then and as I said it's not groundbreaking in any measurements that are used uh, in here the measurements are the same as what we've uh, seen on previous videos with previous uh, Wi-Fi antennas like this 5db of gain but it's the fact that they've used a PCB board here uh, for the first part of the uh, antenna so we've got the ground here and the first uh, driven element as it were here on the top so if you desoldered this uh, and removed this it would still work around uh, 2.4 gigahertz and it would probably be uh, about 2 dB of gain but then they've gone ahead and added this section here so quarter wavelength here then we've got uh, a loading coil then which you know adds capacitance to the antenna and then uh, we've got the main whip here which um, is a half wave but because we've got this uh, coil here makes it slightly shorter and it's interesting that they've also put this kink in here to make it fit uh, inside the tube itself so they've purposely done that I don't think it's doing anything to the frequency or anything like that it's just that they've had to do that to make it fit inside the tube but as you saw on the spectrum analyzer works nice for 2.4 it's just unusual but uh, as I said there's nothing uh, unusual about the measurements the measurements are spot on it's just the overall design of the antenna so just a uh, quick little video taking a look inside of this 5db uh, 2.4 gigahertz antenna pretty unusual 